All right, hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over disk stat weights and just a little thing I've made up um, to evaluate some of your stats and their values. Now, the first thing I would like to say is your stats really don't make that much of a difference. So, if you're one of these people in you know normal tier heroic, heroic going, I'm bad at my disk priest because I don't have thirty percent haste, or I've got too much crit, or I've got a lot of versatility. It's not your stats will not make that much of a difference. You know, when you're when you're talking about that level of gameplay, the best thing you can do is focus on how you yourself can improve your gameplay to then improve your healing. Your stats will not make that much of a difference. Um, and especially for something like disc, where all your stats are very, very close in waiting. So um, you know, don't don't worry about too much about whether you know you you've got too much haste, too little haste, too much you know mastery, mastery whatever. You, you won't. That will not affect you very much. Okay, so now into this spreadsheet and kind of what it's about. So for the disc priest, we have um, three stats that essentially have linear increases to our healing. So that's mastery, crit, and versatility. So mastery increases our atonement healing at a rate at 266.66 mastery for 1% increase onto our mastery healing. And we also have a passive of 12%. Crit, 400 to 1% with a passive of 5%. Sorry, this should be 0.5. Um, and then versatility at 475 to 1% and haste at 375 to 1%. And they have no passives. So the first thing um, you know, that I've been thinking about when putting this together is that when you critical hit with any of your spells, your healing um, has a greater chance to overheal. And we can see that through some of the logs. So, you know, if on our Croesus kill right here, um, we can see through our atonement healing. So 41% of, of my healing was overhealing from atonement. But 48.21% of it then was critical heals that were overhealing. So what does that mean as a disc priest? Well, this means that, and as any healer, this is the same thing, that crit has a much greater chance to overheal. And this just stems from the fact that, you know, if we were to Light's Wrath, if that Light's Wrath crits, you know, it's going to be doing double the amount of healing for everybody. Double the amount of healing has a much higher chance to overheal. Whereas if we say, instead of having that, if we had 20% crit and we put that into say 18% mastery or something, uh, sorry, 18% versatility or 18% mastery, we would then have 18% increased overall healing on the Light's Wrath, regardless of it, whether it crit or not. And that has a much, uh, that has a far lesser chance to then overheal. So when we look through the logs, right, we see that crit gets devalued from overhealing. And we can see that here. So I have factored this into the calculation. Now the other thing that is important to note is what percentage of our healing is atonement healing. Now this changes with the amount of haste you have. So the best way to do this is just get this from your logs. So when we have our overhealing, you can see mine here is 77.3. So if we change this then to 77.3, it'll change the values, okay? So this then will obviously devalue mastery. Um, now, when we look at when we look at um, you know you can put in your stats here, so um, and what what the raw values are in percentages, you can just get that from your character pane, and then I've done a calculation to figure out what required number of stats will you need to get a one percent increase in your healing. So we have a look at this, you know, very simple calculation. So for for me to get one percent increased healing from intellect because intellect is the base value they use to calculate your spell damage, right? All you need to do is multiply that by 0 0.01. So then at 400 and, uh, 44,987 intellect, I need 400 and almost 450 intellect to get a 1% increase in my healing, all right? So for mastery, we have almost the same thing. So we have um, right here, we're finding out at what value we need to get 1% increased healing from mastery. So we have um, 
we divide this into a percentage, so we get about one point, uh, and then we add one, so this comes out to be 1.43. Then we multiply that by our mastery rating, and then we can um, multiply it by what our atonement percentage healing is. So, and that then spits out a value of what amount of mastery we need to get 1% increased healing. And you can see that that's fairly large. Now, if you were if you were to look at the correlation between the mastery percent to to one percent increased healing um, versus our actual stats, you can see that this is a lot higher. And this is because our base training for mastery is already forty three point eight percent. And this is what the multiplicative stats are. So as we get more stats for us to get a one percent overall increased healing, we're essentially going to need forty three point eight percent more mastery than we would at zero mastery. So that's why we have this much greater value here. So again, we've done this for all the stats. The crit does factor in the crit overhealing percentage versus the regular overhealing. And we come out then with these results here. We can then normalize these results by dividing them all by the value of intellect to get what their value is compared to intellect. And then we get out these values. So now what's interesting in these values is that haste is still our highest stat for throughput. Now, Haste scales very well with a Dispriest, and that is because our mana regeneration also scales with Haste. So Haste is a very powerful stat. Um, and then there is an additional bonus with Haste, is that the more Haste you get, the more Mastery is valued. So this actual value for Mastery here is actually higher. Now I've put this in the notes as well, just to say that you know the value of Mastery has additional interactions with Atonement, and therefore it should be valued higher. But from a raw healing perspective, at the percentage Atonement healing we're doing, this value is almost accurate. So we can see then our values for crit is very low. Now this might surprise some people when they go, wait a second, crit in a lot of a lot of pawn strings is actually a lot higher. You know, it's up there with some of the other stats. But that's because they do not in, um, factor in this percentage crit over healing. So, you know, whether you want to think I'm completely wrong or not, you know, well, that's up to debate. We can, I would love to have a discussion about why, you know, you might not think that um, because I'm you know, very interested in improving what I've done here. So we can see from the stats that it, you know, the, the picture is, is fairly you know, easy. All our stats are essentially equal. Crit is slightly devalued because crit will cause more overhealing. Versatility is you know, actually pretty strong. Gives you damage reduction too. So you know, you, I will put a link to this spreadsheet. You can go file, make a copy for yourself, and you can put in your stats and play around with it. See what normalized values you get out, and then you can work on um, improving your gear. So the other thing I'd like to show off as well is the Drape of Shame calculator. Now, um, I know Josh QT has put out a Drape of Shame calculator, um, but there was a lot of magic numbers in it, so I just wanted to, I didn't understand what he was doing in his calculation. So I thought I'd just do it myself um, because it's really not that hard to do. So we have our base intellect and your base crit, right? Your drape of shame increases your critical healing by 10%. So if we have 21.68% crit, we get essentially 2.186% uh, increased healing. Now again, if we factor in this overhealing value here, we know that crit is about 85% as efficient as it otherwise would be. So crit scales 85% worse as we get more crit. So then, um, you know, the same thing. So we can mul we can get our crit value, we multiply it by 0 0.1, which is the drape of shame. Um, then we also multiply it by the value of int. And then we can divide, uh, sorry, multiply it by what our crit efficiency is. And then it spits out a number of what our effective int gain is. So for me, with my stats, this is my crit and my intellect, you know, I had to replace the drape of shame. I need to have an item, or I need to change the items that I have on to increase my intellect by 782. Um, in the case for me, I actually only get, because I have the legendary chest, I can only get four piece by equipping the cape, so I'm not actually wearing my drape of shame. But if I did get, say, the tier helm, I would be wearing drape of shame. So... You can. I will also share this calculator here, and maybe this can help you figure out whether Drape of Shame is worth equipping for you. All right. Well, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.